Okay, as mentioned before, what we're using for this is a bearing cigar tube. As you can see, complete without the cigar. But it's basically a very fine aluminum tube. We discard the cap and the rest. And that is what makes up the front end of the sub, or the front end of the torpedo, I'm sorry. The, uh, the torpedo has a, a metal ring here, which was turned on a lathe. That provides a connection point to the back half of the torpedo, which is here. And as you can see, there's your electrical connector. There is also a push button switch, which is here on the side, and it's, when it's depressed, it keeps the torpedo uh, motor from running. As you can see, the props here are cut down propellers from a toy boat. And, of course, as we mentioned before, these fit in the torpedo tubes and they're ejected by high pressure gas which causes the electric switch to close and the motor to run. What we're going to do now is I'll just take off the propellers and you can see the mechanism inside. It's actually not as complicated as you might think. This is a small servo motor, and what we've got here is a planetary gear, just one running here on the side. And as the motor turns, it's a shaft that runs up through the center and a tube on the outside with a small gear soldered to the outside tube at this point. And the shaft, of course, runs straight through and connects into the motor. What happens is the gear, when it's rotating, provides the reversing action that causes the torpedoes propellers to run in opposite directions. And that's basically it. This is wired in then through to an electric micro switch down inside, which unfortunately you really can't see because of the poor lighting here, but I think you get the general idea. This again is just brass which is bent around the uh, outside area with a nylon bearing in order to provide support for the uh, propeller shaft. And again, you, know, you can see how it, the individual mesh works on this, the, how the two propellers can run in opposite directions. The uh, front end of the sub does unscrew. There are a series of connections, too many to name, which connect the front end to the sub. And I'll show you that in the next one.